Hey, eighth graders, welcome to your freshman course selection presentation for East Union High School, presented to you by your soon to be favorite counselors, Miss Angelina Sim, Miss Jessica Munoz, Miss Susan Terriel, and Miss Lori Pellegrino Jackson. What we would encourage you to do while you watch this presentation is have a piece of scratch paper and a pen or a pencil so that you can take some notes on some of the things that we're talking about today and also so that you can write down any questions that you might have that you would need to ask a counselor later. Next year, when you are at East Union, you will have a specific counselor assigned to you. If your last name starts with A to G-O-M, then Mrs. Sim will be your counselor. If your last name starts G-O-N to O, myself, Mrs. Terriel, will be your counselor. And if your last name is from P to Z, Miss Pellegrino Jackson will be your counselor. No matter what your last name begins with, if you are an AVID, CARE, EL, a migrant student or a foster student, then Miss Munoz will be your counselor. I know that you are all excited to talk about the classes that you could take during your first year of high school next year. Before we get into that though, we do want you to think further past high school, we want you to fast forward into the future a little bit and think about that career that you'd really like to have one day. What kind of major or specialty would you need to get into that career? And then what kind of education or training would you need to have that major or to have training for that specialty? We want you to think in reverse. Thinking in reverse will help you trace the steps back to what you're going to need to start doing next year. When you graduate from high school, you have five options. You can go straight to a four-year college or university. You can go to a two-year community college and then transfer to a four-year college if you would like. You can go to a trade or technical school, into the military or into the workforce. We want all of our students to have these five options when they graduate from high school. Because we want you to have the most options, we encourage and start all of our students off as A to G students. In a couple minutes, Ms. Pellegrino will explain that. I spoke earlier about having you think about what career you would like in the future. We understand that's a really, really big question for a lot of you. Some of you may know what you wanna do already, and some of you may have no idea. Others of you may change your mind a dozen times as you come through high school. No matter what, whether you stick to the same thing all along or whether you change your mind a dozen times. The important thing is that you're thinking about it, that you're exploring and you're asking questions. If you're unsure of where to start with finding a career for the future, go ahead and click this red box that says unsure, click here. This will bring you to an interest profiler or an interest inventory that asks you a bunch of questions about things you like or dislike and then it will match you with potential career options. This is a great place to start and explore. So for this portion of our, our presentation, I would like you to refer to your individual transcript that we hope that you have in front of you uh, because we're going to not only explain the transcript, but we're going to talk about the options for graduation versus A to G. Remember, all along while we're doing this, we want you to really keep thinking about that career, major, specialty, education, or training that we want you to start thinking about. Um, <clears throat> there are two veins that we look at when we're at school. We look at the minimum high school graduation requirements, which is the box on your left, and we have the college A through G requirements, which is the box on your right. There are a lot of similarities um, and there are a few differences. We want to share with you the differences of these two. And while we're doing this, I want you to also look at your transcript. Um, the box on the right is our minimum high school graduation requirements. You'll notice the number of credits that we, on the left, excuse me, um, <clears throat> you'll notice the number of credits you need in each one of those areas. 40 credits in English, 20 credits in science, 30 credits in math, and so on and so forth. On the right, if you look at what the English requirements are for A through G, it's still 40. Um, math is still 30. Social studies is only 20. Fine art is 10. 
on the right and world languages is in 20 and on the left you'll notice that fine art and world languages um, is only 10. Let's talk about math. The minimum requirements is 30 credits. Your first 20 for high school graduation requirements needs to be in the math department. For some of you that might be algebra 1 and geometry. For others of you it might be algebra A and then algebra B. Um, then we talk about that third year. This is where you can be unique and individualized. If your goal is to work on minimum high school graduation requirements, that third year of math can be in the math department, which could be algebra two, or it could be out of the math department. It could be something like business math, accounting, a combination of ag wood, etc. When we talk about the college A through G requirements, that third year of math must be in the math department. So for example, those of you that are starting with Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 for your first two years, your third year would be Algebra 2. Similar situation with science. Your first two years, two years of science are required. Um, that's 10 each, one in a physical science and one in a life science. In your minimum high school graduation requirements, it doesn't necessarily matter what class it is in each of those. In for high school graduation requirements, it must be a chemistry class or a, and a biology class for life science. The biggest difference that we want to make you aware of, though, is the fine art and world languages. You do not need two years of a world language to graduate from high school. Let me repeat, you do not need two years of a world language to graduate from high school. You do have to have two years if you would like to be A through G ready, meaning ready to go directly to a four-year college. So you'll notice on the right-hand side that you need 20 credits, which is two years of a world language, and a minimum of one year of a visual or performing art. You'll notice on the left-hand side that you need only 10 credits, which is one class of either a fine art or a world language. I don't want you to worry too much about remembering the very specifics of this because your counselor will be emphasizing this to you each time we talk about classes for each year. You'll also notice that on the right hand side in that box for A through G requirements, uh, you must have a minimum of a C or higher in all the A through G classes um, to be college ready. Now we always encourage you to go above and beyond the minimum. For many of you, you may not know yet whether or not you want to go directly to a four-year college or to a community college. We do want you to always strive to be A through G because then you will be ready to go directly to a four-year college, community college, trade school, military, workforce, or any combination. Next up, we're going to talk about course selection, what you need for freshman year. The first class you will need is English. We have two English classes, Honors English 1 and English 1. If you are a high achieving English student, Honors English 1 would be a great fit for you. We encourage you to talk to your 8th grade English teachers. The next class is a life skills class called Success 101 and Health. All of our freshmen take both of these classes. The next subject we're going to talk about is math. We have Algebra A, Algebra B, Algebra 1, and Algebra 1 Robotics. As a freshman, your math class will be chosen for you based on your math abilities and level. However, if you are interested in Algebra 1 Robotics, please do note that on the course selection form. As a freshman, you will be in one of these three life science classes the Living Earth, Sustainable Ag Biology, or Biology Honors. If you are interested in taking classes in our Ag Department, Sustainable Ag Biology might be a class you would be interested in. Next, we have Physical Education. As a freshman, you will need to take a PE class. We have two options for you. We have Core Physical Education, or JORTC1. If you choose JORTC1, please know that you will be in JORTC first term and second term. 
Let's talk about world language. Two years of the same world language is required to be A to G. If you feel you are ready to begin a world language, select one on your course selection form. Visual and performing art. At least one year of a visual or performing art is required to be A to G, in addition to the two years of the same world language. In order to graduate from high school, you must have one year of a world language or one year of a visual performing art. This can be a confusing concept. If you are ever unsure, don't ever hesitate to reach out to your counselor. Let's talk electives. This is one of my favorite areas to talk with with students because this is really the meat and potatoes where students can really individualize their high school plans and start supporting those plans for life after high school that Mrs. Terriel talked about earlier. What your career interests are, therefore what do you need to major in or what do you want to specialize in, what kind of education or training do you need. Um, are you going directly to a four-year college? Are you not sure? Are you looking at the trade schools? What kind of classes do we have available here that could, can support those, those potential career interests? We have electives in a lot of area. Most people don't realize that many of our math classes are considered electives. For, for example, AP Statistics, that's a math elective. AP Calculus A, B, AP Calculus B, C, those are elective. Spanish 3, French 3, Spanish 4, French 4, all elective. Advanced Band, elective. Um, electives are, that's a word that is really um, misunderstood. And we really like you to use these elective classes to build on those um, interests that you have. Let's look at the next slide and see how we can use uh, these electives. <clears throat> Earlier I talked with you about, for example, the math requirement. Three years required for graduation. Uh, three years in the math department are, are needed if you want to be college ready. We would like you to consider using electives like AP Stats, Pre-Calculus, Finite Math, to build, um, use those math electives to build on those minimum graduation requirements. Classes like a math or a world language or our sciences, physiology, astronomy, AP chemistry, AP environmental science, all those classes. Maybe you have a career interest of going into the engineering or science vein. We want you to use those, those types of electives to build on those career choices. What if you're interested in an ag-related field? Wow, our ag department has an unbelievable number of elective classes. Basic ag, power ag, ag equipment and construction, art and history of floriculture, advanced floral, um, and so on and so forth. I'm not even mentioning all of them, but we really want you to look at these electives and make purposeful choices. And it kind of makes school a little bit more fun beyond the have-tos. This is more of the can-do area. The other thing is for some of you, Maybe you just like, uh, want to find out more about a hobby or an interest. I had a student that loved PE and all he wanted to do was take team sports. Every single term, team sports, team sports, team sports. After his two year PE requirement, he absolutely can. As long as he's taking all the required courses and we can fit it into his schedule, he could take PE every single term if he wanted to. We really want you to look at these electives and choose wisely and individually because that's what they're there for, to build on your skill set. You might want to know, be interested in where we can find out more about um, these electives, and that's in our MUSD High School course catalog. There's a link on this PowerPoint that's going to direct you and it'll give you information about the classes. It's going to tell you what prerequisites, which are a prerequisite is a class that's required to take before you take a class. So for example, if you're an amazing artist um, and you want to take color and design, then you will need to take intro to art first and then advanced art so that you can get to color and design. Same thing about if you're an ag person, if you want to take ag equipment and construction, basic ag and power ag are the prerequisites 
before you can get into that ag equipment and construction class. Um, what you want to do is, if you're interested in reading more about the courses, and we hope that you do, please click on that icon that says 21-22 High School Course Catalog, and the classes are all listed in there by, by department. Um, make sure that you look into this before you fill out your course selection sheet that we'll be doing further on, because like I said, this really makes your high school plan very, very individualized. How to complete your course selection form. You will go to the East Union High School website, and you will go under Counseling, and you will look for the tab that says Course Selection. This is the page that you will see once you have clicked on Course Selection under the Counseling tab. As you can see, there are step-by-step -step instructions we will begin with part one. Part one, click on the grade that you will be in next school year. So juniors, you will click on 12th grade course selections. Sophomores, you will click on 11th grade course selections. Freshmen, you will click on 10th grade course selections. And eighth graders, you will click on ninth grade course selections. You have now downloaded your course selection form. And now it's time to fill your form out. So I have a copy here of a course selection form. It might look a bit different than what you have in front of you, but don't worry. The information that I'm going to go over, it's the same information on every form. This form is a PDF fillable form. You will be able to type in the form. Please make sure that you fill your name, ID number, the date, post-graduation plan, and that you click on your counselor's name. You will then go to the required classes and you will click on the required classes that were reviewed earlier. You will just click next to the box of the class that you are going to take next school year. You will then go on to elective classes. You will choose eight elective classes and number them one through eight in order of preference. Number one will be the class that you have always wanted to take, or maybe it's a class that you know you have to take. You will put a one next to that class. Then you'll have your second choice. You will put a two next to the class that is your second choice. And you will put a three a four, a five, and so on until you get to number eight. Number eight will be the class that you choose if it's the only class available at East Union and you're willing to take that class. Remember to save your PDF form. It is very, very important that you save your form so that you can upload it into part two. Please remember where you saved your PDF form and what you titled it. So an easy way to remember it is if you are completing the senior uh, form, you can just save it in under senior course selection form. So now we are done with part one. We've downloaded our course selection form and you have filled it out and you have saved it. So now we're going to part two, submitting your form. Part two, submitting your form. You will complete uh, the required information on this form, very basic information. And then you will need to use your MUSD.net email to submit it. So students, we are expecting you to use your uh, school email to submit your course selection. So once you're done filling out the necessary information, you'll get to number seven, upload your course selection form. You will click where it says upload file and you will uh, attach your uh, saved PDF form here and you will click uh, submit. Once you click submit, you are done. You've submitted your course selection, so congratulations. Uh, you will receive an email uh, stating that you really have received your course selection. 
We have given you guys lots of information today. Please feel free to listen to this presentation again or go through the PowerPoint with a parent. If you feel like you need more information or have questions, we encourage you to reach out to one of the guidance counselors here at East Union. When you come to East Union, you will each have your own counselor assigned to you. For now, we are going to assign the counselors by school. If you are at French camp, please contact Ms. Jessica Munoz. If you are at McParland, please contact Ms. Pellegrino Jackson. If you're at New Hoffley, please contact me, Susan Terriel. If you are at New Haven, please contact Angelina Sim.